previously. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, you can go fuck yourself, game. I ain't fighting that. Oh, uh, you know why say go fuck yourself, game? I didn't. I, now that you know, I didn't mean that. I really didn't mean that. The world comes. We must be quick. Together, we can bring it down. And now we continue. Bloody shit! Balthios! Uh, hey, wait, hey, welcome back to more Fall 512 of the Zodiac Age! In the last part, we defeated the Demon Wall and made our way through this dungeon, and now we have to fight this fucking giant ass Crater Barrier! Oh shit! Wait, we're actually taking it down real fast! I thought it was gonna be too. Oh, we got smoke too soon! What the fuck? The fu oh shit, he can cast that huge ass, like, Limit Break magic? Ah oh, shit! Oh, ever oil. We can do this, Steve. We can do this. Just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. So don't forget to click that subscribe button, everybody. And let's go. Let's take it out. Wow, that was not hard at all. That was. I'm about to like, yeah, yeah, second more. I'm say. No, you have won. Oh, oh what's that? Loading insignia. What the fuck? Okay. You have to take the expert. <gasps> Wait, but it's not the summon! Balthy are also missing this like it's like Ifray! In vain glory they arose, shouting challenges at the gods, but prevail they did not. Their doom it was to walk the mist until time's end. A legend of the Nemo. My family tells a story of the Dynast King and an Esper. The story goes that in his youth, the Dynast King defeated a mighty Gigas for which the gods took heed of him. Thereafter, it was ever bound to him in thraldom. So, all this time it's been here guarding the Dynast King's treasure? Not so. The Esper is the Dynast King's treasure. That's your treasure? In this Esper we now command rests a power whose worth is beyond any measure. Is that so? Call me old-fashioned, but I was hoping for a treasure whose worth we could measure. <laughs> fucking Balthiar. <laughs> you like, oh, is that it? We just get a fucking giant dude with a... Okay, so you know what? He was like, whoa, well, that's disappointing. I mean, we kicked his ass and all. Like, I was, like, I was hoping for like, I don't know, something shades of, shades of black. The fuck is that? Wait, shades of black? What the, is that like? Okay, no, it's not. Is that ability? Yeah, cast the random black magic on one foe. Um, okay, I, I, I guess. Like, okay, I guess that's, that's cool. I guess, but. So now we finally. So how do summons work then? Is it just like same thing with like quickening? When we just go to a menu, click Esper, and it just comes out. It's like, fuck all your shit up. Oh no, hellfire! No, so techniques. So maybe one for go license. Maybe it's like yeah, we're gonna license for or something like that. Oh! Yeah, only one character can obtain this license. When the character obtains license, it will be removed from the boards. All other characters. Okay, so only one character can be summon. Four licensing now add to license. Okay, we have earned on the second license board. Can we access to additional licensing boards? Oh, so now I can. Okay, so I. So you know what? Let me have additional licensing boards. So that. Current. Okay, so here's why I can gather. You can have a second job, but if you choose a second job, you can't come back to like this one. So I would assume. Does that mean you lose all this too, though? So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna I'm going to fully, you know, fully do all of this for Vaughn. Fully do all that. And then once this is all done, then I'll go to the next icing board. As for the Espers, um, I 
I want to do a research on experts. I want to know who, like, how many experts there are, and if like who's the best person to have an expert. So, you know what? I'm not gonna assign an expert just yet. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna leave it all here. Um, licensing. Let, let me, yeah, let me do my licensing while I'm here. Uh, max HP. Let me upgrade to that and uh, sightseeing. Yeah, might as well. Might as well. And then, yeah, then ends. Yeah, because like all these shit I still didn't get. So, I don't know if that once I get to another licensing board, all this is gone, like I just restart, or I keep all this, I'm able to add another job. Okay, so, for Balthiar, boom, what? Oh, no, what? Okay. Fran, uh, you know what, let me finish up, because you're almost done with here, so let's go. Boing, boing? What? Uh, Phoenix Lore. Okay, um. Yeah, all this shit is like battle lore and swiftness. So, uh, accessory for me. Dueling? What? 30, 30. Uh, Ash. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Absolute invisibility. Okay, HP, I definitely gotta upgrade that for Canelo. Um, battle. Well. There's no effects. Mmm. No, no. It's a black mage thing. Ponzi? Yeah. Sure. Um, I guess I'm gonna give her some more gamut slots. Cause, yeah, cause like, she could be learning a lot more. Ooh, just still got an A-Rise? Ooh, I'm saving up for that. Uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm good. I think I'm all good here. Yeah, I think, I think that's it. Yeah, so I'm not gonna find an Esper just yet. I'm just gonna wait. I'm gonna do some research on all the different Espers. And, like, if there's, like, six espers, like... Oh, yes. Oh, basically, it return me to the... Okay. No. So basically, if there's, like, six espers, then I'll sign, like, maybe, like, Bahamut to Vaughn. And, like, maybe Shiva to Ash, or something like that. What's wrong? Your Majesty, we must go. What? will be avenged. We got the dust shard, or the, the, the dawn shard, not the dust shard. So, is that like a thing I can equip now? Cause like, I, can't, I don't know if I can equip the other one. Then the, the, yeah I can, so, resist MP to zero. Hmm. Well, I kinda need MP for everybody, so that's gonna be an absolute no no. So, was that, was that it? Was that, I guess that's, it really okay. So I guess that's it. Wow, so that we just took out the dungeon, killed the fucking boss, got an Esper, learned that we actually have two jobs now. Yeah, okay. So leave wait, leave it in the comment section if you know like the whole second job situation. Like, 
Let's say, let's say that I fully, you know, complete the night, the board, and I want to go to a second job. Do I lose all the stuff in the night board? Like, can I not, like, no longer use swords? So let's say, like, I, I'm a knight, I, I'm Bond, I, I completely completed Bond's, like, night board, and I want to be a black mage. Does that mean I can no longer equip night gear? Like, I can no longer equip shields or, like, swords? Or I have to be strictly only, um, black mage gear? Or, or, do, or is it like I can have both night gear and black magic at the same time? Such a tremendous honor to again be graced with your presence, Majesty. You left us with such great dispatch upon our last encounter that I must confess I had begun to worry that we may have given your Majesty some cause for offense. Such a heartfelt display of remorse. Now what is it you want? I want you to give me the Nethersite. The Nethersite? That is a base imitation. We seek Wraithwald's legacy, the ancient relics of the Dynast King. They affected Nethersite. Did you not tell them, Captain Azalus? <sighs> Majesty, he speaks of the Dawn Shard. That is the Nethersite. <sighs> are you mad, Vosla? If we are to save Dalmasco, we must accept the truth. I will fight this profitless battle no more. <sighs> Captain Azalus has struck a wise bargain. In return for the Dawn Shard, the Empire will permit Lady Ash to reclaim her throne, and the Kingdom of Dalmasco will be restored. Think on it. An entire kingdom for a stone, you must admit, is more than a fair exchange. And when all is said and done, your master will have another pet. Lady Ash, let us take him for the people of Dalmasca. Your Majesty wallows in indecision on peril of their heads. And his shall be the first to fall. Well, at least your sword is to the point. To think the relics of the Dynast King were deifacted Nethysite, Dr. Sid will be beside himself. What did you say? Captain Azalus, take them to Shiva. They should have leave to return to Rabanasta soon. I want you to assess its power. Did our orders not specify that we return the stone for testing? I will not chance returning with a stone that is yet unproven. When we return to Dalmasca, we can announce that you are alive and well. I will then continue our negotiations with the Empire. I believe Lars is the key. He'll listen to us. We should trust him. Who are you, Vossler, to talk of trust? A son of Dalmasca.
Our equipment here is limited, so we'll be using the ship's drive to make our assessment. Once we've connected the stone, the reaction should be easily measured. Methods do not interest me, only results. Such heat! The mist is burning! 6,800, 6,900, 7,000! This must be de facto nethersite! The count still climbs! Ah, we found it at last. True deaffected Nethersite. The power of the Dynast King in my hands. <laughs> Blood alone does not an Emperor make, vain. What is this? Something's wrong. What is it? <laughs> you stand! <laughs> Hold her down! I always knew Fran didn't take well to being tied up. I just never knew how much. How about you? I like Fran's idea. Let's get out of here. No farther! Sky Pirates, the future of Dalmasca will not be stolen. Why do this, Bosch? This struggle is futile. You must know where it leads. I do know. All too well. Yeah, right, you fucking traitor. Time to die, bitch! First, I rob you. First, I rob you. You're gonna steal from Monster? Oh, right the fuck I can! Fuck, I really can't! I said, give me a shit, Monster! Monster, don't make this fucking difficult. Don't make this fucking difficult. What? That's it? One potion? Come on, bitch, come on. On you. Wow! Oh, you have the fucking potion? Yeah, oh, that's all you got on this? Like... Okay, so I guess that is definitely working for you, so... Let's switch you out with... Let's switch out with Spock. There we go. Oh, down you go, Foster. Oh, such power. Engine power falling rapidly. It's negative. Impossible. Engine we cannot maintain the bridge. Report. What are they doing down there? What's happened? The never sight's draining the ship's power. Disengage it at once. I want that number three guy to see it. It's infected. Shall reach critical in 300. Cascade failure. Ash, let's go. All I have done. I've ever thought of Dalmasca first. I know you do. I would ne'er gainsay your loyalty. Look on what my haste has wrought. Did I act too quick? Or was your return too late? I can serve her no more. You must take up my charge.
The dreadnought Leviathan is sunk. The Eighth Fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. As word of the events in the yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady. My true motive, to bring the various counter-imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalice together in unified resistance. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanasta. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known, to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. Though Arcadia had lost her Eighth Fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with which to be reckoned. Rosarian Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The loss of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Rosaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lausa will make for a fine emperor. Lausa so adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah, yes. And who would set him at such tasks? What matter? Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <coughs> you may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vane return to Arcades.
So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. You know your stuff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before. Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Nabudis. The capital of Old Nebradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nebradia. More Nethercide. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. He must not be allowed to claim the Nethercite. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard, most likely the Midlight Shard, too. Besides, can't they manufact Nethersite now? Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Shard to fight them. Dalmaska does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand she aids her allies, sword in hand she lays to rest her foes. This Nethersite I hold must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died. And the Empire will know remorse. You even know how to use it? I... <laughs> the Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it. The cry of the Nethersite's power. Whispers of the stone's menace. Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmaska free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. Compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. Compensation. How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. I'll give it back to you, as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean, something more valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. What is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I, uh... You know... You have the foggiest idea what you're looking for, don't you? Ah, oh. the Gareth are said to dwell in Kerwan. Take an airship. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza plains. It is the rains now in Giza. The Wadis will be swollen with the deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? Right. First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know. Yeah, but we should up. see that we're prepared before setting out. Get dog, dear up! I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, Princess. So we should gear up, get, make, get, make sure we're all like OP as shit, and then we get up there. Alright guys, that's me for this part. I'm gonna, off camp, I'm gonna gear up, I'm gonna get all this shit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on another shopping spree, and then we're gonna go all the way to, what is it? We're, we're, go, go to the world map, all the way to Jafari. Oh wow, the, how, how the fuck do we get there then? The fuck? Yeah, so I go to Giza Plains, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking that maybe I just... Get the, I just like, I transition to like, want to get to Jafaria, like I don't like, go, 
like I don't show me going there. I just like end up. I just like end up the ride. Cause last part when I went to the sand seas, it was nothing really eventful. It was just like me traveling there. It really wasn't anything eventful. It was just like boring passage. So if there's nothing, I might like if you if you, if you watch the next part and like I'm already like oh at the gates of Jeffaria, then yeah, nothing really interesting happened in the plane. So, like it's just yeah. Yeah, both both this is like cutscenes or something like that with some important details. And yeah, I'm definitely you know definitely gonna show you that. Like that. So peace out, everyone. Hope you have a more spectacular Zodiac Age filled day. Oh, the shopping spree! Here we go! No oh, shit! They think go the big bang, so like of course not. Oh shit! I see, I see it. Bang! Ha 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 ha!